Hey guys, welcome to this Godot spawn enemies tutorial where we're going to be spawning some enemies and random sprites at uh, random positions. So I'm just going to show you quickly what we're going to be building. So let me run this project. So as you'll see now, we're just going to have a bunch of random enemy sprites on our uh, screen or in our scenes. So guys, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please do so now and hit that notification bell to get updates of any new videos and tutorials in future. So guys, I'm going to jump straight into this tutorial now. Let's uh, have a look. I've got another project which I've created here, which is just a blank project with a game node. This is a node 2D, so you can go ahead and set this up on your side. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new scene and I'm going to use a 2D scene node. I'm going to rename this to enemy. And I'm just going to set up some basics of what I would use for an enemy. So let's just add a kinematic body 2D. And then we're going to bring in our enemy sprite. I'm going to drag that in. And I'm just going to center this off on the crosshair and then I'm going to resize this down to make sense for our scene and I'm going to save this off as enemy TSEM and now what we need is we need to create a script which is going to do the spawning for us so I'm going to create a script called uh, scene spawner yours might be uh, called enemy spawner depending on your situation but I'm going to call it scene spawner because I want to use the same script to spawn other elements maybe later uh, in the process if I was going to be building a full game from this project. So let's just uh, open up that scene spawner. So the very first thing we need to do here is we need to have a way of generating random coordinates. So how I do that is I'm going to have a random number generator. First I'm going to get rid of all these unnecessary comments. And in our ready function, I'm going to start off by creating a random number generator dot new. And then what we're going to do is we're going to load up our enemy scene. So we want to instance that off. So we bring in our enemy TSEN. The next thing we want to just do is we want to sort of get an idea of our screen size. So we're going to use the viewport size. So how we do that is we'll just say a bar screen size. And we're going to say get viewport. And then the visible rect. So this is everything that the camera can see or the player can see that plays your game. So we're going to get the size of that. And then what we're going to simply do is we're just going to go off and spawn uh, 10 random enemies. So in order to do that, we're going to have a for loop. So I'm just going to use I in range 0 to 10. So that's basically it's going to go from 0 to 10 and run whatever code is below this. So here we're going to just get our enemy instanced off. So we're going to take our enemy scene and create an instance. I'm going to randomize my random function. And then I'm going to create an X coordinate off this random function. So rand if or rand dot rand if range. So we can give it a range from zero to screen size.x and then just to be sure that we are getting reasonably random numbers I'm going to randomize again and I'm going to copy this code here for our y-axis so I'm going to use y and y over here then simply what we're going to do is we're just going to set our enemy position it's y and we're going to set our X position it's X and then very simply add the child of our enemy to our scene. So let's uh, head over to our game node and we need to attach the script. So 
head over to script over here and then load it and I'm going to use scene spawner let's run this see if it works see if we've got any issues or errors so there you go that's how you can spawn enemies there are other ways of uh, setting this position you could pass it a vector 2 as well if you wanted to do that I just do this because it uh, makes a lot more sense it's easier to read for me and to understand for others that are watching this tutorial so guys that's basically the end of this tutorial that's how you can uh, use Godot to spawn some enemies uh, if you have liked this video please like below and uh, if you've got any questions or comments please comment um, I'd love to reply on any of your comments and uh, just answer your questions and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet also please do subscribe and hit that notification bell because I am going to be bringing out a lot more tutorials and uh, dev vlogs very soon thanks guys for watching cheers